Monday, 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 in some random guy's basement out in the middle of Bumble f nowhere. We are doing what again? No, oh, you screwed the whole Final intro. Creation, dude. Final, Final creation. Bring your kids. Bring your grandmother. Bring someone you don't even know because we're having fun and I'm running out of air. <laughs> Final creation. You see, this this video is only going to be two commands, so I figured your little stupid ass can come over here and help us no, out. That's fine. That's fine. First command we have here is called touch. Um, touching is a very <laughs> lovely uh, <laughs> verb that we have out there. Brian and I are going to. Touch you, what? touch like, you, like you've never been touched before. <laughs> so there's a command actually called touch. Every time I think of you, I touch myself. That's right. uh, no, yes. the touch command. What is the touch command going to do? And if you don't know, I do. It's like the hand of God coming into Linux and just pointing at the soil and creating something out of it. The touch command is... Instead of all that, you just type in the word touch and create a new file. Right, but here's how we use the touch command. We type touch, space, and then we create a file name. Mm -hmm. Because this is going to create a completely empty file. So we'll do touch... My butt. Test.txt. Is that cool? That's it. Proof out of thin air when we hit enter. Enter, we, there's a file. So, just, prove that. Just like the hand of God just went in there and just created a text. Alright, you and the hand of God, man. Uh, my ass is God, okay? You wanna <laughs> It's fuck like me? Uh, black and white, you know, and you got the little hand cursor and it's like. And you can click pick somebody up and look. We're gonna type LS. Alright. <laughs> and then enter to test to make sure the file's been created. You ever play black and white? I love black and white, man. Yeah, 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 yeah you throw the villagers. Yeah, you pick them up and you throw them. Yeah. yeah. As the list command has showed us, this file test.txt has been created out of nowhere. Out of freaking nowhere. And but, uh, what do we have on in the uh, text file? Absolutely nothing. Just garbage data or well, nothing at all. There's absolutely nothing in there. Except nothing. maybe an end of file. There might be a beginning and end of file, but then nothing in between. Wow. So there's a simple way that we can edit this file. I'm actually going to run Pico. And then we can show VI, right? Oh, right okay. <laughs> I'm going to run Pico. Pico is a simple command line text editor. <laughs> P-I-C-O space and then the file name test.txt. Press enter. This right here is Pico, a simple text editor. I can just type, hello, you, how you be. Is that cool? Addressing all two fans of our site, but you know, whatever. Enter, enter, enter. <laughs> yeah, me and him. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to <laughs> wibbits.net. If we take a look at these little options down here, we have the option to do stuff. Like, if we need help, all we have to do is hold down the control key and press G. But if you need help with the text... Yeah, you probably do need <laughs> two simple things, Still I guess. Said it's it. We will save the file and then exit the program. Is that cool? Excellent. So to save the file, we're going to hold control. Or write the file. Right, exactly. Hold control and press O. And then it'll ask us to save before we get out of there, or what? Yes, it's going to ask us what do we want to save the file as. It'll ask us to save the file. <laughs> we select test.txt. It's going to save over what we had before. Press enter. It's been saved, right? Yep. So to exit, we have this little option down here. It says exit. So the way I'm going to exit the editor is hold control and press X. And it's gone. And it's gone. So VI. VI. What is VI? Text editor. It's, it's a very complicated, absolutely useless text editor that for some reason Brian is madly in love with. So why don't we, Brian, why don't we do this? All right, so VI space test.txt. Okay, this is gonna or take us. Dot T tab. Or T E tab. Or T tab. Yeah. T tab. Ah, go. you like that? Okay, right, so, so here's VI. Here is VI. This is another text editor. And it's a pain in the butt. So we hit the insert button to start editing the text. So you actually have to type <laughs> insert in order to. Oh, so now we're starting code. to insert stuff. So you can say, like, hello to you, too, or something. Hello to you, too. To exit VI editor. Once you've made the changes, the first thing you do is Control Shift O. Control Shift O. Right, and that's gonna break out of that form of insert. <laughs> then you do Shift colon, which Shift. is gonna get you to the little command prompt. Colon. Right. <coughs> See, this is why VI sucks. <laughs> Keep going. Then W to write the file, and then Q to quit. Do I press Enter or W Q? Nope, w Q and then Enter. Bam! Just like that. Don't ever <laughs> use VI. So, but the, the, the thing that's important ever. to show VI right after Pico is how obscenely different they are. Okay, so those are the commands that we want to do for file creation. Next one we're going to come back with file viewing.